What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the percent change or in other words the percent increase or decrease and we're going to go through a couple word problems all right but before we do that let me walk you through this percent change formula all right so this is the formula you're going to use whenever you're calculating percent increase or decrease and it basically just says the percent change is equal to your new amount minus your original amount divided by the original amount okay and then you just multiply it by 100 at the end to turn it into a percent okay so let me show you how we use this formula starting with this first example right here so this problem says 25 zombies are chasing a group of human students all of the students accidentally trip on banana peels which allows the zombies to catch up to them and turn them into zombies too so there are now 34 zombies what is the percent change in zombies so our percent change formula says it's going to be equal to our new amount right so what is the new amount of zombies well there's 34 of them now right so that'd be the new amount minus the original amount what was the original amount of zombies 25 okay 25 and then that's going to be divided by the original amount of zombies which again was 25 right and then we're going to just multiply this by 100 to change it into a percent so first of all let's simplify what we have right here so what is 34 minus 25 well 34 minus 25 is equal to 9 okay so that's going to be over 25 and then again we're going to be multiplying by 100. okay so what is 9 over 25? well 9 over 25 is the same thing as 9 divided by 25. okay so let's solve that so 9 divided by 25. okay as you can see 25 doesn't go into 9 right so what we have to do here is put a decimal point and a zero okay now you ask yourself does 25 go into 90 well yes it does how many times well whenever you're counting by 25s an easy way of thinking about it is thinking of quarters right like with money so if you have one quarter you have 25 cents right if you have two quarters you have 50 cents if you have three quarters you have 75 cents if you have four quarters you have a hundred cents or in other words a dollar right so in this case 25 goes into 90 three times okay and then three times 25 or again three quarters is the same thing as 75 cents or just 75 okay so then you have to subtract here 90 minus 75 which is equal to 15. okay now we don't have a number over here so we'll put a zero so we can bring that straight down okay now how many times does 25 go into 150. okay or again the other way you can think about this is how many times does 25 cents fit into a dollar 50 so 25 must go into 150 exactly six times okay so then six times 25 is 150 you subtract and you get no remainder okay so this is almost our final answer the last thing you have to do is grab your decimal point and bring it straight up to your answer okay so your answer right here would be 0.36 or more properly written it would actually be 0.36 okay so 9 over 25 is equal to 0.36 okay so I'm going to write this right here but with the decimal now so this is now equal to 0.36 times 100 okay so now we're just multiplying by 100 in order to change this decimal into a percent so what is 0.36 times 100 well an easy way of multiplying by 100 is just realizing since you have two zeros right here you just have to move the decimal two times to the right okay so one two so that's where your decimal is so instead of having 0.36 this is now going to turn into 36 okay so this is going to be equal to 36 percent so again the question was what is the percent change in zombies and your answer would be 36 percent 
And also, since we got a positive number for our answer, right, positive 36%, that means there was a percent increase. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's do just one more example. All right, so this problem says you're on a bus with 29 other people. You fart and nearly burn a hole through your pants. It smelled so bad that you killed 27 people. What is the percent change of people who are alive on the bus? Okay, so let's get a couple things straight. So the problem is asking, what is the percent change of people who are alive? Okay, so originally, how many people were alive on the bus? Well, you started with, you're on a bus with 29 other people, right? So it's you plus 29 other people. So that means there were originally 30 people who were alive on the bus. Now, you farted and you killed 27 of them, right? So now, how many people are alive on the bus? Well, that would simply be 30 minus 27. What is 30 minus 27? Three, okay, so now there's only three people who are alive on the bus. So that means your new amount of alive people would be three. So following the formula, the percent change is equal to the new amount of alive people, three, minus the original amount of alive people, 30. Okay, so 3 minus 30. And then we're just going to divide that by the original amount of alive people, which again was 30. Okay, so we're going to simplify this and then just multiply by 100 at the end. Okay, so this is going to be equal to... Now, what is 3 minus 30? Well, that would be negative 27, right? Because you have a small number and you're subtracting away a bigger number. And then that's going to be over 30. And then again, we're just multiplying by 100. Now, can we simplify this fraction anymore? We actually can, right? Because we can divide the top and the bottom by 3. Both of these numbers are divisible by 3. So then this is going to be reduced. So what's 27 divided by 3? 9, right? And remember, it's negative 9, right? Negative 9. And that's going to go over 30 divided by 3, which is 10. Okay? And remember, we're multiplying by 100, right? Times 100. Now, this problem we can solve the same way we did the last one, okay? We could turn this fraction into a decimal and then multiply it by 100. But in this case, we can actually do this a little quicker, okay? Because we can just multiply this fraction times 100. Okay, so how do you multiply a fraction times a whole number? Well, an easy way of doing that is simply turning the whole number into a fraction. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite it like this. So I'm going to say negative 9 over 10 times, and then how do I turn 100 into a fraction? Well, I just have to put it over 1, right? 100 over 1. Okay, so now here we just have a fraction times a fraction, right? And in order to multiply fractions together, you just multiply straight across, right? So you multiply the top together and multiply the bottom together. But one thing I'm going to do before doing that is simplify this a little bit. And the way I'm going to do that is by realizing that I have a number on top that ends with a zero and a number on the bottom that ends with a zero. So since they both end with a zero, I can actually cross those zeros out because they cancel each other out basically. Okay, so now let me simplify this. So now we have negative 9 times 10, right? And that's equal to negative 90. And then that's going to go over 1 times 1, which is just equal to 1, right? So now here we have negative 90 over 1, which is equal to simply negative 90. And then remember, this is in percent, right? So your final answer here would be negative 90 percent. Okay, so again, the question asked, what is the percent change of people who are alive on the bus? Well, there was a negative 90 percent change. So in other words, there was a percent decrease, right? That's why our answer is negative. All right, guys, so that is how you find the percent increase or decrease in a word problem. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.